Hello my friends and welcome to Art of Rally. I've uh, just discovered this after a feed on Twitter. It's available on 30% discount on good old games at the moment. So that's where I've just picked it up from. So let's just uh, see what this is all about. It seems like a, a polygonal kind of uh, rally but quite authentic handling apparently. Uh, so I've got my uh, Xbox controller plugged in for this. Let's see. Well, we'll start with Korea. Um, are the gr grey one grayed out locked? <laughs> Group two. 1967. As rally was growing in popularity, regulations were needed to better organise the events and enhance the competition. The biggest rally events of the time were united in a single championship, attracting manufacturers to display their cars, drivers to race and crowds to watch. The AI difficulty... Uh, well, I guess with Rally, we'll go one at a time, so let's see. We'll leave it as this. Damage, normal performance damage and terminal damage. So, okay, yes. It's like a bit of a authentic... Oh, cool. Look at that. Oh, I like that, uh, the design there, the simple aesthetic. And that's... Uh, is that an old Escort? What's it named? The Esky V1. Yeah. Can I rotate it? Right stick. Oh, it's sweet. Look at that. Nice. It shine on the tree. Oh, it does shine on the tree. Look at the lighting's pretty good, isn't it? Particles. What we got? So we've got the esky. We got a livery. Red. Number three. White. Yeah. Oh, pure colours. Let's go with the default. We'll stick with this first car. But what else have we got? The Mini. I like it. Look at that. Reminds me of the Italian job. The original film. Uh, Lamont. Oh, getting into the locked ones now. Das 220. It's like a pacer suite. Remember pacers? And stripes. Peppermint, spearmint. Spearmint. Oh, a nine, a nine eleven by another name. Le, Le Jordi. I don't recognise that one. Le Regina, La Regina. Anyway, let's get back to the. Let's go with the Esky. Stage one morning gravel 3.7 miles in Japan 1967 rally one of one oh sweet we've got the nice pink cherry blossom must be Quite a hassle with all those petals dropping when they do eventually fall. Ah, oh, look at the crowds there. Now, if this is 1960s rallying, I remember seeing some footage of the 70s sort of rally. The crowd were bonkers. They were just standing on the track. Well, yeah, like they are there. This should be fun. Yeah. Let's hope they get out of my way, because I've no idea how I'm going to be driving this. We've got accelerate on the right, trigger, brake on the left. It's looking pretty. Let's get into the race. Begin stage, yep. Ah, sweet. Ooh, here we did I jump the gun then? Oh, whoa, 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 come on, get out of my way. Oh, it's a bit drifty. Wow. Oh. oh, I like the feel. Oh my god, he ran out in front of me. Oh, Muppet. <laughs> True to form of the day, I think. Let's see. I'm not exactly drifting, am I? 
Let's try and... Oh! Oh no. Oh, it reset me. Forget. Get out the road. Whoa, yeah. Oh, a jump. Nice jump there. It looks like Toyland, but the lighting on it is impressive, isn't it? Oh my... Oh, oh. I thought for a minute that was a little dining table. That would crash right through that. Nice cheering ambient sound there. Oh my word. Slip slidey, I think. I mean, it feels it. I think of the options just before I came into the game. I, I did set it to uh, pretty authentic. Not many stability assists. I just wanted to feel what it was like. It feels, feels like it's going to take some practice to get used to the handling and then no doubt I'll get in another car and it'll be quite different, but that's part of the fun. It's certainly, uh, I like that. I, I don't like so much the simple racing games all the time. I do like this more simulatory, as you'll see from my other videos on here. Live for Speed, for example. Check that out. I've got most recent videos, just some fun little short videos with my checking out the virtual reality mode in that. And that is awesome. Well, might not come across quite on the videos, but yeah, believe me, that is one of the most quite simple but highly effective implementations of VR I've seen in a, a racing game. Plus, it's just such a great game anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, mow down the people. You may well cheer. Oh, go, go, go on, go on, go on, my son. Now there's our progress around the course, the bar on the left. Oh, we're slinging it round. I like the lighting in this, it's, it gives, even though it's polygonal and simple graphics, the light, the shadows, gives it a nice uh, realism, doesn't it? Oh. Focusing on the scenery there. Let's get round. Oh my, cut the corner. Three forty two. Stayed results second. Ah, uh, the rally is going to be over five, several stages, was it? Let's, oh, what does the replay look like? Check it out. Is this the replay? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a replay of my game. Mm. Come on. Mm. Loving those crowds. Yeah, so simple graphics, but I think the developers deserve praise for the authenticity. Uh, the way they've implemented the crowds is, is great. I like that. And yeah, just the sound and the handling of the car feels good. I think it's going to feel very good when, you know, you get really familiar and comfortable when to turn, how to make that turn, the handbrake turns, etc. It's going to be very satisfying. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. But you know, comment down below if you feel like saying something more about it. Um, check out my other videos on my channel, from racers to factory builders, from retro to modern. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.